So guys, you see the ball. You get the ball. First little bit can be with the ball. Don't need one, but we're gonna have to have one. Okay, I know this is kind of last minute, so we'll wait like a minute or two. If you have a teammate or someone, Oscar and Andy, glad you guys can make it. Um, if you guys have any teammates who might be interested, um, let them know, because obviously it's super last minute. I think I sent this out like less than an hour ago, and only on the story. What's up, Cam? Because um, I know it's off, and I know uh, a lot of people want to continue to get after it, and so I just want to continue to provide that for the players that want to get after it. Um, and I know also a lot of coaches struggle with things to do on Zoom. Um, doesn't come natural for a coach. So I think these workouts are really, really good. And so, uh, yeah, I just want to make sure that we are continuing to provide for you guys. All right. So if you have a friend who might be interested, text them. We're we'll starting like a minute. Um, and yeah, even if people can't do it now, we'll put it on the story or on their, on our uh, page so you guys can get after it after this one, it's going to be a uh, warm-up with the ball, and then it's going to be a little strength, and then it's going to be some quickness and core. All right. So, uh, yeah, let's get it going. Okay. We'll get it going to start just with the ball, whatever dribble you want. Go for it. So if you're not on the ball, you just do high knees or jumping jacks. So, again, for those that join us, plan is a little warm-up with the ball. And then we're gonna go into the strength piece and then a little bit of quickness and core. So no air quality hasn't been great. I'll give you guys some ideas on things you can do in your own. Let's go all right foot now, all right foot. Whatever you want, right foot. If you don't want to do, maybe maybe make a box with the right foot. So roll, push forward, roll, and then back up. So if you don't know what to do. Maybe make up a little square with the right foot. Let's go all left foot now. All left foot. Whatever you want. If you don't know what to do, maybe just make a little square going with the left foot. Mixing up right foot, or sorry, inside the foot, outside the foot. Bottom foot as well. And go back to your foot. Ooh. Ball super slip, slippery, slip, slick. Let's go as we're going, just inside outside. Inside outside. Again, this is freedom, I'm just giving you some ideas. And let's go boxes now. Boxes every just way. Spinning maybe. And and good. No ball. Just fixing some placements. And pull me the chest. I don't know if you guys saw, but I'm rocking the old school agility top. Got the old school with the loom on the back. See our quad. See our quad. And big circle with me. Close it down. And good, open up, touch your chest. Up and twist. Down, touch again. So again, for those who just joined us, we're gonna go a little strength part, and then we're gonna go into some quickness and core. Call it a day, should be a good 15, 20 minute workout. Let's get a couple capillaries. Keep those legs straight, walk out, push up, put next hand, open. Open. Thought we were gonna be able to train today. We had some trains this morning, which are great, because the AQI was low enough. But then all of a sudden, like noon, it just started ramping up. Don't use these uh, AQI days, bad uh, air quality index days, to uh, not get after it though. Continue to do something to continue to head the direction you wanna go. All right, let's do it. Uh, first workout, four exercises, or five, six, 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 six. First one's gonna be lateral lunge, like that, to any drive and hold. Just like that, 30 seconds each side. 
Okay, from there, we're gonna go push up, two push ups, into push up, push up, into toe tap, toe tap for 30 seconds. And then after that, we're gonna go squat pulses. So squat and the bottom, you go up, down, and then back up. Boom, boom. All right, and then from there, we're gonna go on our stomach, reverse snow angels, keep my chest off the ground, back exercise. And then we're gonna finish with squat jump. Soft landing. Really like that. Works on good foundation strength as well as landing, which is great for strengthening your knee and your ankle for brain injury. Okay, we'll start now. Go. So lateral lunge and explode. Pause. Lateral lunge, explode, pause. Try to keep my back straight as I'm going through this movement, not falling down like this. Okay, keep my back upright. Don't put your hands on top of your knee either. So see how my arms are set my side? Boom, pause, five seconds left. Show your control by sticking at the top. And good switch. We're gonna three rounds of these, and then we got the quickness in court. Ten seconds. So you should, if you want, like I am, be able to pause and hold at the top here. But at the same time, you're explosive up. And go next. So it's one or two push-ups your choice. And then it's toe tap, opposite foot, toe tap, opposite foot. Then again. I need new shoes. It's like I'm gonna feel like I'm on ice right now. And I tell you what, it's great for your core. Gotta really engage so your feet don't slide out. Five seconds. And good pop up. Squat pulses. So it's down, up, down, up. This is the bottom of the pulse. When you're doing this, make sure you keep your back straight. So you're back in your imaginary chair, so your butt goes back. Knees aren't going forward, feet flat on the ground. Feet flat on the ground the entire time. Five seconds. Next one more on our stomach. And good. Here. Reverse snow angel. So it's like a snow angel. Tip down your stomach and your legs are off the ground. And your chest is off the ground. Nice and controlled. You do this type of stuff regularly, your capacity for work increases. I mean, you can just work harder and obviously you're gaining strength. Good pop up, squat jumps, soft land. It's a consistency that pays off. Do this stuff regularly, you're gonna see big improvements. And it's one of those things you might not see improvements like right away, but if you're consistent with it, you're gonna see massive improvements. Three, two, one, and go back to the first one. Bottom of the lunge, pop and hold. Bottom of the lunge, pop and make sure legs nice and straight at the top. Oh. And to get pop up and good bounce. Pop up and good bounce. I love this type of stuff. I think I said before, anytime you're working like an awkward movement like this on one leg. Great for balance and switch. Great for single leg stability, balance. So we're doing balance. Not just so you obviously focus on balance, but you're strengthening all your connectors. It's like all muscles in your feet, ankles, knees, hips. So guess what, now you're gonna be a little bit faster, a little more explosive, and less likely to get hurt. You just wait, I guess we progress in the future. You're gonna see workouts for sports, like soccer, I mean, way more like this. And good, next one. Versus just going and like doing some sort of a traditional weight-based exercises. I mean, don't get me wrong, like squatting is great, bench, no question, but I think the majority of training 
This is going to start leaning towards oh, this, this type of stuff. Once you get that basic strength foundation, and even the science is starting to incorporate this, these types of movements. And good. Next one. Squat pulses. Just make sure you're keeping good form when you're doing these exercises. So here, sitting down. Knees are going to track out. Feet just wide and shoulder width. Ten seconds. Next one on our stomach. Reverse snowman's. Get that back straight. Every repetition, focus on form. That's how you improve. Squeezing, staying up. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades. I'm coming there with it. Boom. I'm focusing on keeping my arms off the ground as they go through the range of motion. Five seconds. Two, one. Good. Pop up. Squat show soft man. Stick it. Good. Try to be very soft on landing. Land the ball on your foot. Make sure that knee's not coming in. Five seconds. Right away, next one. Oh my gosh, I've gotten so many spam calls in the last couple months. Combination of like, oh, you've won a four night stay, and political stuff. It's like, oh my gosh, you're kidding me. I don't know how that's legal. It really shouldn't be. And good. Switch. I like literally refuse to answer my phone. If it's a number, I don't know. Just because 90% of the time, it's spam. I really don't know how it's legal. This legs are a little sore already. Let's fill the quads. Less than 10 seconds. And good. Push ups. Two. And then touch. Touch. My feet are on ice. Shoes have no tread. Tired, focus, and good. Your stomach. Keep good form. This is just like a mental game. Once you start getting a little tired, right? Each exercise is only 30 seconds. That's not that difficult. But you just gotta stay switched on so you keep good form. Don't give in and start having poor form. Same thing on the field. Stay focused. Get through it. And good, pop up, squat jumps, go pass. For some reason, yeah, legs are already sore. It's gonna make it interesting for the next piece. Next piece again is a little quickness with some core. Almost there, five seconds. And rest. Pretty good start. Pretty good start. Okay. Next piece. We'll start in 30 seconds. First one. It's going to be 15 seconds of fast as you can go with your feet. 15 seconds, 45 seconds core. Three different movements for quick feet, three different movements of the core. 
We're gonna do that twice. Looks like this first one, simple. Just lateral. So it's kind of just like two and one out going forward, but you're just staying still. That's the first one. Second one, alternating. Feet forward, backward. Last one, forward, backward. Taking steps, all right? I'll talk you through the core. The core is the easy part, but let's start with the foot. Just footwork, go. Quick, lateral. So like you're going in a ring or going up and down a ladder, which is in the same spot. Quick, fast you can go, fast you can go. And good plank. I'm gonna go plank rock, so forward back. As you guys know, I'm not a big fan of just normal planks because once you get like the base, basic level, it's really not very challenging. And the idea is to challenge your core. So you have to engage it, engage it in parts of it. If you want, you can do the same thing. So we're rocking, but maybe now we're going left, right, forward, back. So all different directions. Going around a circle. Oh yeah. Switch up the direction you're going. Make sure you keep those arms directly underneath your shoulders. Arms shouldn't be too far out in front of you. It's alternating where you're going. Three, two, one, good. Next core, a few, go right away. Forward back. Three, two, one, woo. Have a hold. Just like with the uh, strength stuff, keep concentrating. Keep concentrating. So as my legs are straight, squeezing my stomach, push the lower back into the ground. Remember the last footwork is step, 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 forward, backward. So the same thing we did, except instead of jumping at the same time, you're alternating. Oh man, I haven't done this enough. Keep that stomach engaged. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Pop up, and footwork, go. Ah. Time, oh. Leg raises now. So here, up, and down. Feet never touch the ground. Try to keep legs straight. Feet never touch the ground. If you want to make it more challenging, twist your legs to the top. So twist. Then twist the other, other way. Make sure your feet aren't going past your head. You should be going like directly above your head. First one, one more time, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Time, plank. You're moving around, rocking in different directions. Keep concentrating. We're 17 and a half minutes in. 17 and a half minutes of work done, means we have two and a half minutes of work left. So it doesn't matter how hard it is, you've already done 17 and a half minutes, let's put the work in for the rest of the time. Two minutes, 15 seconds left. Keep breathing, trying to control your breathing. Going in different directions, three, two, one. Okay, four back, go. Time, whew. About a minute and 40 left. See if you stay up the whole time. Keep you squeeze your stomach. Keep your legs straight.
20 seconds. 15. Stay up. Oh. A minute and 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Up right away. No rest. Right away up. Four back. Down, last one. Leg raises. Oh my gosh, holy junk. This was a tough one. For those that are doing it, awesome. Getting stronger, getting better. I'm adding those twists in now. So I'm twisting my feet towards the top. Twist my feet as I head to the top. Make sure those legs stay straight. Feet shin going beyond your head. 15 seconds left. 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time. Woo! Good work. That was brutal. Whoever did that, you're your boss. That was tough. If you didn't do this, you missed out. Guarantee you, guarantee you, I don't care what you do today, that will be harder than anything else you do today. Um, good work. Those who made it. This was an awesome one. Tomorrow, do it again. Same exact thing. See if you can do better than you did this time. This was, I really like this. There's a lot of pieces we worked on. Strength, core, quickness. All right? Good work. Get after it. I know it's super last minute. Let your friends know about it. Get on it and do it because it's going to make you better.